Line weight in Revit is a topic that often doesn't receive much attention, yet it plays a crucial role in achieving high quality end results in our work. In this video, we will explore the ins and the outs of line weight and discuss how we can manage it effectively. Also, we have a question from you related to this subject that we will address at the end. So as you can see in here, we have different thicknesses, we have different weight and size for lines that we use in Revit and we can set each one of them separately. If I select all of these lines, you will see that these are just thin line. The type of these lines is thin line, but their thicknesses are different. I'm going to select this one, for example, this is number three. If I go to this part override by element, you can see that the weight is on three. If I select this one, this is number five. And if I go to the same part, you can see that it is on five. We usually use all of these weights from one to five. Maybe we use six. We barely use seven, but we have actually 16 different line weight in Revit. It kind of look weird. I'm not sure where we use these ones. If I turn this thin line off, you can see that all of them have the same thicknesses. And if I turn it off, we see them based on what we have them on sheets, when we export them or when we print them. So this way you can check and control the line weight of your lines, of the elements that you have put on your sheets, on your plans before printing or exporting them. We have special numbers, we have special sizes for each one of these in different scales. If you go to manage and to this additional setting in here, you can see the line weight. Let me just move closer so we can see them better. Okay, first tab is model line weight. In this table, we have the scales and we have all of these 16 different line weight. So we are now in one by hundred and everything, every line thickness that you see in here is based on these numbers that we have in this column. So if we change this one, for example, this is number four. If I change this to, let's go to seven, the number four, this one will be changed. I'm going to click on apply and you can see that it is changed. Let's go back to 35 and apply again. If we switch from this scale to this one, one by 50, the thicknesses of these lines will change based on the numbers that we have in here. For example, this number four in this scale, in the scale that we are in is 0.35 millimeter. But if we go to this scale one by 15, it will change to 15. I'm going to click on OK. And if I switch to this one, one by 50, you see that their thickness is changed. Let's go to one by 20. Again, it is different. All of these will change based on the scale that you select. I'm going to go back to one by 50 or maybe one by 100. And let's go back to this additional setting. These are some of standard numbers and we don't usually change them, but it's important to know that how and when you should use them. For example, maybe you are on this scale 1 by 50 and you have an object with this 9 line weight. Okay, let's say we have an object like this. When you want to print it, you realize that it's line weight is too much so you can come here and just simply change this one change this number instead of like changing it separately or changing it with the category itself second tab is perspective line weight when we are in perspective view we don't have access to changing the scale so if you want, for example, a high quality export for the model you have created, you can control these thicknesses based on the scale. Okay. So in this way, for example, let's say you have a wall in 3D view, in perspective view, and you want to export it, but the thickness is not right and you want to change it, but you don't want to change the whole thickness of the view of your model, right? In this case, you need to check the thickness of lines of the wall and then you can come back here and just simply change this number too. Or for example, you can change it. You can change the line weight of the wall to another number, maybe to 7, and then come to here and switch it to, for example, 0.5. 
This way you can control the line weight of that specific category or that specific element in a perspective view. And we have the same for annotation line weight as well. You can control all of them from here too. I'm going to click on OK and let's go to a 3D view to show you how it works. I want to create a wall, a very simple wall like this. And also let's just add a window in here. I'm going to select it and put it on the selection box like this. If I zoom in, you can see different line weight in this part. Let me also hide this section. This is the line weight of the wall and these are line weights of this window. So how these are different, how we can know the line weight of different elements of different objects. For this, you need to go to manage tab and to this object style. In here, you can see all of the different line weight of different categories of different models in here. Now we are in model object tab. So this means that all of the 3D models, all of the objects that you can add to Revit, you can change their line weight in this part. For example, for these doors, the line weight for these doors, if you see them in projection, if you see them in elevation is one but if you cut it you can see it on two and also you can change its color and also its pattern too but if we scroll down in this part the line weight of the wall is on one right now we have this wall in cut we have it inside a section box so we can see the line weight of three for these lines of the wall it's the same for window two now we can see this window from the projection view we can see it with the line weight of the projection which is on one if we cut the window if we create any section or a section box from this window we see it on three we can see different line weight on this window and if we open it we can see why it is like that so right now we can see different cut lines be different numbers one or two in here this is because these parts and these lines are based on different line type in window so if we open this wall section for example we can change all of these parts too and we can have different line weight on a same category okay we can control and change these based on exactly what we want and for example show them show these details show the frame mullion glass on different line weight for cut and also for projection for when we can see it from the elevation click on ok and let's just move this section box to here and it again now if we zoom in we can see that this part of the window has the same line thickness of this part of this cut wall so this way you can control each and every part of your element separately and create exactly what you need let me explain this in another way so if we go to first level in this part i'm going to for example change this well to this one so we have different layers in here i'm going to make it a bit bigger i also want to create another wall in here and i'm going to just make it a bit shorter maybe just one meter like this so if we zoom in in this part we can see different line weight in here these two elements these two walls are on the same category we have them on the same line thickness. As you saw, we didn't change anything. But we see this one, this wall is based on the cut line weight, number three line weight. And this one is on the projection line weight, is on the elevation. As you see, the height of this one is on one. So it is under the view range. It is under the cut plane. We have talked about this in depth in another video. But if you want to like know how it works, I'm going to go to properties section and in view range. If you click on edit, you can see that this cut plane is on 1.2. So anything under this level is shown on elevation line weight, on projection line weight okay sometimes when you are working on a plan view and for example let's say you need to like export a sheet export a plan on this scale on 1 by 20 
okay in this case let's say you want to highlight it let's say you want to make it bold and you can change this obviously because if you change it the annotation or other things might like be different which you don't want that in this case you can just simply go to this manage tab and to this line weight section find this scale find this one in here and we know that the cut weight of this wall is on three so it is this one and it is on this scale if you just simply change this one to five you can solve your problem simply like this or maybe let's say you want to have something even more let's go with one okay going to apply and you can see that it is simply changed so this way you can control everything on your plan exactly like how you want it now that we know everything about line weight and we know how we can control it in different views in different situations let's answer the question if you have two walls or even more walls and we want to present them on different line weight in the same situation what we should do in this case to answer this question i need to mention the first newsletter that you have probably received on may or april i don't remember exactly but it was about the difference between the category type and elements in revit so if you have read that newsletter you know that if you want to change something in revit for example if you want to change all of the laws you need to change it from the category you need to change it from the visibility and graphic okay if you want to like have the same line weight if you want to change the cut line weight of all of these balls you need to go to like object style and change everything from there but if you want to change a line weight of a specific element for example this wall or this wall which are two separate elements you need to select it and go to this override by element in here you can control their line weight in the projection line in here or cut line in this part you can control them separately so right now both of these line weight of this wall of this category is based on three for cut and one for projection in this part we can change them we can change this one and we can keep the same setting for all of the other walls in this project so i'm going to change this line weight for this projection let's put it on four and for cut cut line we are going to put it on for example this nine let's apply and this is what we have these are two separate elements but they are in the same category and this way we changed each one of them separately and we have exactly what we need for each one of them i hope everything is much more clear for you and you understand all about line weight and how to control and manage it if you are interested to learn more about lines i suggest watching this video and i will see you next time